What's going on, YouTube? Uh, today is... Oh, I keep forgetting. Monday, the day after Valentine's Day. So, uh, leave me in the comments how you, all your Valentine's Day went. Uh, I'd like to hear. My girlfriend and I went to get her nails done. She got her nails done. And then, let's see what else. She slept over. I made her a breakfast in bed. Went to the mall. She wanted a Build-A-Bear. It's kind of cute. So she went and got. A, I got her a Build-A-Bear. I, this was not planned. I, I went to Red Robin and then I bought her a betta fish. That wasn't planned. Uh, went home and, and watched some movies and such and hung out for the rest of the time. So that was my Valentine's Day. Leave me in the comments on what you did for your Valentine's Day. And if you're single, I don't know, drink booze on the floor and laid there and sang out loud to your pillow. I don't know, whatever you did. Alright, so today we're going to be talking about why Copenhagen is the best dip out there. And right now we have, I still have this tin. This is from a while ago. Uh, some Copenhagen wintergreen left. Yep, that's Copenhagen wintergreen. Alright, so we're going to take a pinch of that. And we're going to get the video started. Give me a second. I'm going to get some water. And, uh, yeah, because I don't like not having a drink when I dip. So I'll be right back. Hey, guys, I'm back. Sorry. Just had to fill up with some water here. Anyway, so we're dipping on Copenhagen wintergreen. Let's get a pinch of that. Yeah, this is my last pinch of the can, but it's too good to waste. Ah, it's gonna be a little pinch, but hey. Um. So basically, we're gonna be talking about why Copenhagen is the best dip. It's gonna be a pretty lengthy video. Um. Uh. And also, a Q&A video is coming up still, uh, so leave me some comments in the uh, comment thing, Majigger. And, uh, yeah. So, anyway, why is Copenhagen the best dip? Well, first of all, let's go over all the dips. The main dips that everybody knows about. Grizzly. Let's go over Grizzly first. Grizzly. I know these pouches anyway, but. Grizzly is a, I don't like it that much because it's got a plasticky taste, okay? There's one reason. Um, the second reason is when I dip Grizzly, I move it. I move the dip all around my mouth during the dip, so well, down on the bottom. And and what happens with Grizzly, it turns to mush when you keep moving it around. But I like to keep moving it around just to I don't know. I just like moving it around. And it turns to fucking mush, and I fucking hate it. And then I just gotta spit it out five minutes later. I mean, uh, other than that, it's a cheap tobacco. Um, it's just not that good, and, and they focus, the flavors aren't that good, I mean, the wintergreen's alright, but it's plasticky, and, and it turns to mush, that's why Grizzly, I don't like it as much, Skull, okay, let's just get this out of the way, first of all, Skull's for pussies, which, I, why do I still have it, I still have Spearmint, I didn't even know I had the Spearmint, I do, that's weird. Anyway, so skulls for pussies, okay? As I have skull left. Um, but honestly, skull focuses way too much on the flavors. Their nicotine's not there. It doesn't do anything. It, and, and their flavors don't last. They focus on the flavor of it rather than it lasting. I mean, they got all the weird fucking flavors and just, it's nasty and just boring. It's... It's not that good. It, it, the cut is okay. The cut is kind of like a Copenhagen cut, or a little bit more of a long cut than a mid cut. But it's still they just focus on their flavors, and there's no such thing as nicotine in this shit. I mean, it's kind of gross to be honest with you. Um, so that's why I don't like Skull as much as Copenhagen. Stokers. Stoker's, the reason why I don't like Stoker's as much as Copenhagen is because, first of all, Stoker's has really good flavors, and their flavors taste good, but the problem with Stoker's is it's such a long cut, which is good at the same time as it's bad. Uh, I just don't, and, and the, the thing I hate about Stoker's, it's just a foamy, nasty kind of spit. It doesn't feel right. It's very foamy. It, it It's light. It's kind of weird. It's, it's, ah. Not my thing. But if the spit was good, I'd be dipping this more. 
I don't have. Yes, I do. Kodiak. The reason why I don't like Kodiak as much as Copenhagen. Flavor. I don't like their flavors that much. I like. They have flavors, the regular flavors, but they don't have. Their flavor doesn't taste good, if you know what I'm saying. The wintergreen tastes kind of smoky or bitter. I don't know how to say it. Smoky, kind of. Tastes kind of like you just barbecued it. Um, that's just kind of my opinion on it. Maybe I'm completely off with some other people, but that's just how I feel. Um, it's a cheap tobacco. It is the same company that makes Grizzly. Um, and the flavor doesn't last as long as I'd like it to. So those are the main ones that I'm going to talk about. And the reason I'm going to tell you why Copenhagen is the best is this is why. Copenhagen, first of all, the style of the can is beautiful. Simple, easy, and, and just really good looking. Um, their flavors are the best, I think. Southern blend, nobody else has southern blend. Uh, nobody has a really good natural tobacco taste like snuff, natural extra long cut, or, or long cut original. It's a very... It's very earthy taste, and I like that. Oops. I missed half the mud jug. Whoops. Ah, oh, fuck! Jesus. Uh, Jesus H. Christ. Um, their flavors are fantastic. They have Southern Blend. Mint is coming out. Their mint is fucking amazing. Wintergreen. Straight. Long Cut Original, which is the same thing as Snuff. And long, uh, uh, Natural Extra Long Cut. Um, those are just some of the flavors, and they're, and they're perfect. I mean, they, they nail them every single time. I feel like Copenhagen goes to certain extents just to get their flavors right, and then they go to certain extents just to get the cut right. The cut is perfect. The cut packs perfect in your lip. The cut is just, a, 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 it's more of a mid-cut than a long cut, but it, it packs together perfectly. It pinches fantastic. Um, and, and really overall, it's the best dip. The flavor outlasts any other flavor or any other dip there out, out there right now. And, and everything they do, it, it seems like it's done to the T. It's done to the perfect, perfect way. And, uh, that's why I love Copenhagen so much. The spit is black. The spit is dark. The spit is smooth. And it's very, um, it's very not, it's not foamy. It's, it's just perfect. Um, and, and Copenhagen has been doing this the most out of any, this is the longest, Copenhagen has been making dip the longest out of any company, and that's why I think they know what they're doing so well, is because they came up with this shit, this is, they invented this shit, um, and, and it's just perfect, I mean, the simplicity of the cans is just, I mean, they're beautiful, and, and I think everything about Copenhagen is nailed to the T on, on, on perfection, and, uh, I mean, it's just the best dip, I think, out there. And if you don't agree, well, fuck you, because I fucking hate you. I don't hate you, but I think you're fucking psychotic. But that's why I love Copenhagen so much, and, and that's why it's it's the best, in my opinion. Um, and, and I really, really enjoy everything about Copenhagen. A lot of the other dips, I can't really... When you have a dip, I want to enjoy it. I want to like it, I love it a lot, with Copenhagen I can do that, um, so that's why I love Copenhagen so much, uh, and, uh, yeah, so, uh, Q&A videos coming up, so guys, go check that out, and, uh, write some comments, I haven't found my computer, I think it's still at school, I left it at school the other day, and now I went in today, and I can't find it, so I might have to go buy another one. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on, and, uh, yeah, that's why Copenhagen is the best, so, you guys have yourself a really good day, and I will see you next time for another video.